Last year, I got a new job that I had to relocate for. I'd arranged the move into an apartment, but just before the move, the apartment building had flooded and I was out of a place to live. I decided to go online and look for something temporary until I can find another apartment complex. I found an ad belonging to an older woman who was renting out a bedroom in her house. The rent was cheap, less than staying in a hotel, so I called the woman, let's call her Marie, and arranged to rent out her room for a couple weeks. Marie was in her late 60s, a really kind older woman who was full of hospitality. She seemed a bit lonely, her children lived very far away, and liked to keep a full house. There was one other person in the house, Leanne, a woman in her mid-twenties getting a master's degree at a local college. I arrived there a few days later and finally got to meet Marie in person. I sat down with her and signed a small agreement with her, normal rent stuff. After I signed the paper, she mentioned to me, Oh, one more thing. If you're planning to be out after 1am, I ask that you don't come home and find somewhere else to stay for the night. I sleepwalk, and if you happen to come home while I'm up and about, I could think you're an intruder. I just replied with, Oh, okay. But in the back of my mind, I'm thinking, Jesus, what have I gotten myself into? I figured since this was only for a month, I could manage to get by. I didn't have any friends in this state yet, so I figured I wouldn't be out that late anyways. The house was an older, two-story Victorian style home. The outside was a bit worn down, but the inside was more maintained, with newer hardwood floor and fresh paint. The whole house had a farm feel despite being in a suburb outside of a large city. Marie, being from the south, brought that southern feel with her when she moved here. I got all settled in and was just hanging out at the house. I went downstairs to the living room to socialize a bit with Marie and Leanne. I sat down on the couch adjacent to where Marie and Leanne were sitting and watched TV with them. It started to get late and Marie went off to bed. I decided to ask Leanne a bit of what she thought of Marie, especially with the whole sleepwalking thing. Leanne was a bit quiet and antisocial. She was very much interested in her studies above other things. She did not go out much, so she told me that the whole sleepwalking thing never bothered her. She tended to already be in bed before then. Leanne had been living there for just around a year, so I figured this whole thing really could not be bad. About three weeks into my stay, I had started to become friends with a few guys at my new job, and we decided to go out one Friday night. We went out to a bar for a couple drinks and watched the game. The bar was closing, and I drove a co-worker home who had way too much to drink. I looked at the time and saw that it was already past 1am. I thought about the whole thing Marie had said, but I didn't think I was close enough to these guys yet to be able to ask if I could crash at one of their places. I figured I would just head back and be quiet going back into the house. I pulled into the driveway and headed up to the door. Pulling out the key, I opened the door quietly and gently closed it behind me, locking it again. I made my way into the living room and started making my way up the stairs. I was about halfway up the stairs where the railing turned into a wall in the stairwell when I heard a creaking sound coming from the kitchen, which was connected to the living room just to the right of the stairs. I froze thinking, hell, am I really about to end up in this situation? Marie had placed nightlights in every room of the house and from the stairs. 
I could see the shadow of someone being cast on the wall in the living room from the lights in the kitchen. I watched the shadow, waiting to see what it did. The shadow turned, and the person started walking to the other side of the kitchen. I thought to myself, now's my chance. I slowly walked up the stairs, but just before I got to the top, the step let out a loud creak. I heard a loud snarl from the kitchen and could hear footsteps running into the living room. I slowly turned around, looked at the bottom of the steps. In the dim light of the night light, I could see a person standing at the bottom of the steps. I expected to see Marie, but this person was much taller than her at around 5'11", and its body looked nearly anorexic. Its hair was long and thin. Marie was only about 5'2", and a bit heavy. It was facing away from the steps and breathing very rapidly, its shoulders moving up and down deeply with its breath. I stared on, watching it as it just stood there at the bottom of the steps. I started to walk backwards up the steps, still facing it. My foot slipped at the top step and I fell, catching myself at the top of the steps. The creature turned its head over its right shoulder and I could see this large, sunken, glowing green eyes staring at me through its hair. Its whole body began shaking, and it started to breathe even faster. I slowly picked myself up, keeping eye contact with it. I walked backwards down the hall towards my room. I could hear its breathing coming up the stairs, its bones cracking, and the wood stairs creaking as it made its way up. I looked back for a moment to find my doorknob. I grabbed it and looked back down the hall towards the top of the stairs. It was now peering around the wall at me, its head tilted sideways with those green eyes still fixed on me. Its bony hands were grasping the corner of the wall. I turned the doorknob and stepped into the room. I closed the door and locked it. I quickly grabbed a wooden chair in the room and jammed it under the doorknob. I could hear its bones still cracking as it made its way down the hall to my door. I picked up a lamp off my nightstand and was ready to fight. The footsteps stopped at my door and I could hear it grab for the doorknob. Its loud, rapid breathing continued. It tried to turn the doorknob twice and then it hit the door. The thud echoed in my room. It placed its hand on the door and scratched down it, its nails digging into the wood of the door. I could track the sound of the creaking wood floor through the wall as it made its way back down the hall towards the steps. I left the chair jammed under the doorknob that night. I did not sleep at all that night. All I could see in my mind were those green eyes. The sound of its footsteps echoed in my ears. I knew now that Marie was not a sleepwalker. It was a lie to prevent us from encountering the thing that lived there. I moved out that following weekend into a new apartment. I never brought it up with Marie or Leanne. I did not want to know what either of them knew about it. I'd much rather forget the whole thing. If you are ever moving into a place and there are some very weird rules, Bite the bullet and stay in a hotel until you can find something else.